Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me. I am Heather with Rose Hill Paper Cottage and this is my design team project for Ruby and Pearl XO. And I'm just so excited to share with you um, my project today. Um, so what I'm creating is some happy mail and basically it's gonna be happy cards. <laughs> Um, and I'll put all the information below um, of what I used, but basically I focused on the Boho Butterfly Kit. And now I don't know if you've seen it, but it is absolutely stunning. So I'm gonna show you some of the papers first, because seriously, it's so pretty. The colors are just so vibrant. And I printed this out on, I think like just like 28 pound paper. Um, and then this is actually from her antique and French um, invoices or something like that, or ephemera or whatever, <laughs> whatever she calls it. I don't know, I get all the names mixed up. Anyway, I'll put that information below. Um, but I love the ledger and she actually does use some ledger to back like some of the images and I just like it because it, it creates interest. Um, so it's something that I print out like all the time. Um, look at how beautiful that is. I mean, I love it and her, her collage sheets, I will tell you, are just amazing when you're gonna, if you're gonna make cards. I mean, it's it's just amazing. They just are set up so perfectly so that it'll work. Obviously for journal pages too, but anyway, we'll come back to that. Um, so here are just some of the stunning images and the colors. I mean, hello, beautiful. It actually goes this way, <laughs> but I guess it doesn't matter. It's however you wanna use it, you know? And look at this wallpaper. I mean, how fun is that? And then here is another one. And I love this like purple. Like, I mean, look how cute that is. That is adorable. And I love the um, wallpaper that's kind of not quite plummy, but it kind of goes that direction. Um, and then there's some other wallpaper. So there's like, and you can obviously see that I have like cut from them because I have been busy making this happy mail. <laughs> and I love, I love this one so much. Okay. So anyway, and there's other pictures actually, or I should say other pages. So here's like a collage and I did two to a page. So this is actually not the full size. And then um, I printed this one and this one is the full size. Um, but anyway, you have to check out the kit. It's, it's absolutely stunning. Oh, and I think there's another one here. This one is so pretty. I just love it so much. And this one, how cute are those? Oh, I just love it. And the font of the writing, it's just, anyway. <laughs> So I've needed to create some Happy Mail. And what is so great about Happy Mail is that it, it can be incredibly simple to create. It can be so easy um, with just very minimal supplies. So basically what I've done is I've made a couple of cards and um, these are just, these are great for, you know, whether a person expects the Happy Mail or it's sent completely, you know, on a whim. Um, what is so great about Happy Mail is that, you know, everybody loves to receive it. Everybody loves to receive things in the mail. You know, it just, it brightens your day. It's just, it's just that little extra, you know, that comes. Um, it's also a great way to, you know, if somebody is, you know, under the weather or something like that, or even for like, you know, a birthday or an anniversary. These are great and they can be, you know, catered to whoever your recipient is. Um, and also, what is also great about the way that I've made them is that you can make so many of them and then just grab the ones that you need and because you'll see where I've done all the different pockets in them, you'll see that you can just then, you know, cater it to that recipient, you know, so if they like buttons or if they like, you know, stickers or, you know, if they like stamps or, you know, um, tickets, you know, just whatever it is, you know, you can reach out to them and you can just fill it with all of their favorite things. And I think they'll love it. So, um, I'm going to show you a couple ones that I already have made. And then I'm basically going to give, um, a lot of different ideas. Um, I'm not really probably going to like create any, but I'm going to give a ton of different ideas and just show you different ways that it can be, you know, made. So I have this one first card here. This is the first one that I made and it's just tied with the simple, you know, sorry. And I just love it. So I basically took, um, I'll kind of show you like which, which images that I use to get that because I think that helps, you know, um, you visualize, you know, what, what it is that I did. So I basically took this image here and then I folded that. So on the flip side of that, then you're gonna see, you know, this image here. And I printed it full size. 
But what I did do is, you know, obviously there's like a little bit of a border. I trimmed it slightly because for the envelope that it goes in, I want it to be a little bit smaller because I'm going to bulk this up. And so it, the envelope, if you have your card the same size as your envelope, then it's going to, you know, it may not fit. So, which you could always get another, you know, envelope or make an envelope or whatever. But anyway, just something to keep in mind that I made it just a little bit smaller. Um, and so I just put this beautiful little image here. I mean, how darling is she? And just backed it with a little bit of um, the wallpapery one. Um, let me see here. I'm sure I've got it. I should be a little bit more organized, but you know, I have all these papers everywhere. Um, this one. So I had actually printed this image smaller, this one here, like probably two to a page, and then I backed it, and I just kind of tore this image, you know? Didn't use the full size. Um, I actually printed her a little bit smaller because this is the full size image. So there's just so much versatility in this. Um, so basically, I'm gonna open it. And it's just simply just tied around it. Now you could, you know, totally adhere it if you want it to be permanent. Um, and then you open it up. And I have basically used um, one of the um, antique French um, pieces here. And then I took some of the wallpaper and just collaged on the back. And I've created, um, I created this with a couple things in mind. That the end user could reuse pieces of this. So this is actually adhered and there's this great little pocket, you know, right here um, that I printed on vellum. And then um, this one can be removed so that if, if the end recipient, you could either pay it forward and utilize this again, you know, for somebody else after you take out all your goodies, or you could actually utilize it as is, you know, in a journal, whether you cut it apart you know, and, and repurpose the items in there. So this is removable, but maybe you love this image and you want to keep it as like a journaling card or something. So I just kind of kept those, you know, different little things in mind. So what I did here, so this is totally adhered. And then this um, little bag here that I created with one of Tim Holtz's um, metal dies, um, the pocket die, um, but you don't need this. I'll show you how you can make one. Um, but I created this little pocket here and just tied it with a little bit of, um, oh, what do they call it? It's, it's like an embroidery floss, but, and mine's a messy pile because I need to wind it around, but it's got like, um, little glittery, like bits in it, like shimmery bits. And, um, I got it at Hobby Lobby. And so I just tied it around, but I mean, you can, you know, you could use anything that you want to, any kind of, you know, lace or trim or whatever. Um, so it's just this cute little bag. So that this is removable. And then I used a piece of um, the vellum print and I just adhered it down with a little bit of um, double-sided, you know, tape that you can get, you know, on the roll. So then that just slips down, down in there. And then this is removable. I should probably move some stuff out of the way. There we go. So this is removable. So this is kind of like a little baby journal. <laughs> it's so cute. So I backed it with some of the wallpaper and then I've put in some of my scrap pieces that I've printed on the front and back. So it's just like a little, you know, just a little place to just like take a little bit of notes or some memory, but it slips out like that. And then I put um, a piece of, you know, vellum down and then I put a piece of my vellum washi over it so that um, it would just give it some interest there. But isn't that cool to like do that? And I'm sure there's like a ton of other different ways, you know, that something like that could be done, um, you know, so that things are removable. But I mean, by all means, you can also just glue it down. So that's super cool. And I used the image of the butterfly. So where you would fold it in half and then that's the book, the little booklet. And I just think it just turned out so super cute. Okay, and then the other thing I made was I made just kind of like this little envelope. And I um, attached this here so that I could string this, you know, through it. Um, you can also use just like a hole punch for it, but I don't have one that's small enough that I like because like I, I have the one inch, but I need to get a smaller one. So I just use like a little die. And so that's why if it shows up, if you can see like it's got like the little stitch, the stitch marks. Um, so anyway, let me see how I did this. Okay, like that. And then I, this opens up 
like that. And then there's like a little pocket here and I put some of these like little journaling cards which are from one of the collages. And then I backed it with some of the pink wallpaper that matches, you know, um, the background of what these are on anyway. So I made that little pocket and then those are just like so super cute right there. And then there's another little vellum pocket here, which I haven't put anything in yet. But isn't that so super cute? And then this is permanently attached um, so that um, it could be cut out, you know, um, around because there's nothing on the back side. So it could be cut and then, you know, attached into, um, a, you know, a journal or whatever. Or, you know, like I said, it could just, you know, you can empty out all the goodies and then just pay it forward. Make sure I got that tight enough. So isn't that just so super cute? So simple and so super cute. I need to retie this. And just easy little like ideas. And I mean, there's just so many different ways that you can, you know, you can do this and that you can create it, you know. Um, so if you do like an assembly line, you know, make an all, you know, once you like know how you're going to make it, then you can make a whole bunch of it and then just do like a little assembly line and then it'll, they'll be so quick and easy to put together. But so super cute. And I've just left the back plain because... I think this is just a stunning image. I love it. But by all means, I mean, you could decorate it however you want to. So there is that one. I'll just put that there. And then here's another one I did. So here's just this polka dotted um, sari trim. And again, it's just loosely, you know, tied on there. Um, because I just, I thought that the end user, you know, I try to make things like removable if I could. Um, you know, obviously, you know, cause they may want to keep it. And I mean, I think this card is cute just the way that it is anyway. Um, so I just added a little bit of washi down here of my washi that I did, which maybe I should talk about that a little bit. So I, um, have done a, a washi tape video before. Um, so you can see that in my other YouTube videos, just go back, you know, like a month or so. Um, but I didn't, I hadn't yet tried out like kind of like the vellum to make it like more authentic where you could kind of like see through it. Um, so since then I've done it and then I did like a little, um, reel on Instagram showing, you know, how you can easily, you know, create this. Um, but this double-sided tape that I got is, it's amazing. It's, it's awesome. I love it. And it comes in different sizes and that's basically all I did. So I printed out Heather's, um, digital on, and I'll show you. Um, on this um, premium tracing pad and it is a uh, 45 pound but it's it's basically like a vellum um, and so I, I printed out on it I didn't have any problems you know printing the images and um, it comes out nicely which actually I should just show you how I it how it comes out you know so here is you know, like the same pattern. And then I just use whichever width of the tape that I want and I put it on there. And what's so cool about it is that, you know, you may not, I don't know exactly if it'll come across here, but in person, you know, you can see this paper underneath it. So I just think it looks really, really cool. And I've really been into like mixing patterns lately. I, I've just been loving the way that it looks. Um, so it totally fits with this whole kit. So I did a little envelope on the front here and I made it myself. Now I have a, an envelope punch board, but you don't necessarily need it. You can always, um, you know, take apart an envelope, you know, that you already have existing and trace around it. And you know, you can get that same, you know, image basically. So, you know, this is what I end up with when I do the envelope punch board. And I always kind of do like a little bit of a test one just to make sure everything works out and I'm gonna like the way that it folds because I'm a visual learner, so I have to like see it that way. Um, and it'll make sense once I show you, you know, inside. So I basically just hand stitched on, well, not even hand stitched. I mean, I put two holes in here and then tied it, you know, to keep that little cute little button on. Um, but it opens up like this. And then like a little, a little butterfly inside. Is that not cute? So to make sure when I, you know, did this, you know, cut this out or whatever, I really wanted to make sure that I had everything aligned properly. Um, you know, because, you know, it's just, it's easier <laughs> to just do it the one time as opposed to multiple times. But isn't that so super cute? So I took this, the, the tail here and I just, you know, just created you know just some like little you know lines across the the base here and then I just basically ended up coming out the back that you don't you know see and that's my little string that I used 
And then you can see here, I just kind of went through in two different places and then tied it, you know, in a knot at the top. But isn't that just, oh my gosh, it's just precious, isn't it? So like your little card could go there or maybe there's just, you know, maybe you want to throw some confetti in there. <clears throat> just something fun. Um, okay, so then, oops, I think I got all like tied around. Okay, well, I'll fix that later. So anyway. Um, so you open it up and I actually ended up doing, so this is, this is basically, you know, the card piece that I used, the, the image. So this is already the collage image that I used. Um, so what I did was I ended up taking another piece, so of her paper and I, you know, attached it here, um, which is on the inside with some tape. Um, so then that way I have this extra little spot. Um, so she's part of the kit as well. And what I did was, was I put my washi over the top of like Tim's washi because this, this, you know, traditional washi is not very sticky usually. And so it'll just peel right off. So in case, you know, uh, the, the person who this is going to go to, they want to cut this off, you know, to utilize it. They could, they totally could. I mean, it's created so that, you know, you can use a lot of the different pieces. And that's what I was keeping in mind when I made it. So I just put my washi over Tim's washi and then that way it can just, you know, come up and, you know, be attached. And this is the wallpaper printable um, from this Boho Butterfly kit. And I just put like a simple little vellum pocket and then some more washi inside. So see, I just backed it with the purple. And you can see the, the washi um, or actually not the washi, the um, double-sided like adhesive, but that doesn't bother me. I mean, you could stitch it too if you wanted to. And I think they make a special like tape or glue or adhesive, whatever it is for, um, for vellum, but I, you know, don't have it. I'm gonna use what I've got. So, um, but that doesn't bother me. I think it looks fine, it, you know, it looks good. So anyway, so this is, this is so super cute. I just love it. And so this can come out obviously and go into like a journal if you want. And then on the flip side, then I created, I just put a, laid a piece of, you know, plain vellum across and then I just stitched up. And a lot of times when you stitch, um, like through vellum or through paper or anything like that, you know, whatever the core is or whatever, you know, that, that main color of the cardstock is, is gonna, you know, it, that's gonna come through. So I basically just ink up wherever I go with the stitching. Um, so then it just kind of doles that, you know, that bright, bright white down. And then I added um, like a little pocket here. So there's a cute little pocket there and a little vellum pocket here so that I can stick some more things in. And I actually did add, you know, a little bit of like washi tape there. And then there is a pocket here. So I added this like butterfly image to the top. So it's just a smaller version of this one. And I just put it there and I backed it with just a little bit of like old uh, book page. And then her wallpaper here, did, I just did a little bit of collage and then I put one of those like stamps there. So I thought that was really super cute. So there's a pocket there and a pocket there. And then this is like just the vellum, you know, printouts of various wallpapers, like a lot of her different wallpapers that she has. And then there's a pocket here, like a little side one. Isn't that just, I just think it's so pretty. And then on the back, I added another little uh, pocket. So there's a pocket here. So isn't that just so super cute? I just love it. So, I mean, again, it can be as simple as you want it to be or as complicated as you want it to be. So I'm just gonna kind of like talk about like a couple of different ways that it's just so easy to like create stuff like this. Um, like it's already, you know, pretty much set up for you. Oh, I forgot too, I had a little pocket here. <laughs> I forgot about it. Um, okay, so let me just kind of put that out of the way. And I'll just kind of talk about like how easy it is to create this stuff. So what I, this is what I've used. So I have used, I, you know, I looked through my stash of all my cards and all of, you know, just all my paper goods of like things that I have that could possibly work, you know, the envelopes and such. And I came across these and these are actually, which I have no idea where I got them from, where they came from but you know, a pretty substantial size envelope 
which you could decorate as well. And then this paper that is already like scored. So I knew that this was printer friendly. I knew that that's what that was created for. So I just printed on the front and back. And I would say that this is not, this is not like a heavy duty, you know, um, paper, you know, cardstock. It's fairly lightweight, which is good too for the weight, you know, for, you know, your package, um, especially if you're going to, you know, chalk it full of, you know, like a ton of different little things. So you can use, you know, something that's similar to this, but you don't need it. You can just print out on regular, you know, cardstock and use it. Another great idea is like I came through, I was looking through all my stash and I came through and I was like, you know, I have like these cards that like I'll never use um you know they don't they don't really reflect you know like me or whatever so i can just like cover this up you know um with actually i mean that's a piece of cardstock but i could actually use like if i've just done you know a paper image don't have anything else on the other side and then i can cover this up and i can either trim this down or i can add like a bit of a border so like um like if I want it to be as big as the card I've got, I could just add like a little bit of border, do a little bit of collage. But most likely I would just take this image, which is just two to a page, this Im this particular image, and I would just trim off this card. And then it'd fit probably in one of these, you know, envelopes quite easily. Here we go, here's an envelope. And you kind of would want it to be, you know, a little bit smaller because then you could put some, you know, bigger stuff in it. So those are just some ideas. I mean, if you have cards that, you know, you, you don't care for, but you've like found while you're out thrifting or something or somebody's given them to you, you can just cover them up. And, you know, you can actually do whatever size that you want. Or I also have, obviously, from my card, you know, working days when I used to, you know, work for the card company for years, they would throw everything out. So I would keep the envelopes, um, you know, which is was great for you know paper making um but it's also great for creating happy mail and i would just basically cut my image or you know utilize my image you know when i fold the card to kind of be somewhat this size so that just i mean just go through your stuff you probably you know have something that just shows you you can use you know whatever so a couple of things if you don't have like white card stock so i printed this out on a white card stock um, to make smaller cards and I printed the wallpaper whatever wallpaper I wanted on the other side but if you don't have cardstock um, you you know or you have colored cardstock that's not like the color that you want then you could just print it out on your regular like copy paper and then just adhere it down with like a glue stick or like you know beacons glue or something like that and um, you know utilize it that way so that's that's another option um, So this is printed out on cardstock and I mean it's so it's just so perfect you know for a card already which is the one that I used here um, and I just I absolutely love it so a couple of things so if you so I'm just gonna kind of use this as an example and if you've got all the different like little images you know whatever size that you've you know printed them out um, I have a big let me find the collage sheet <laughs> that I used here we go so this is just perfect for utilizing any of these images you know on the front here I mean you know you could use the butterfly you could use you know the lady with the her butterfly wings and I guess you could put it really anyway you could put it this way you could even probably do it as like an of a diamond shape you know you could put, put this you know cute little girl here so, I mean, there's just so many different options of what, you know, you want to do. Or you can even just go, you know, floral and use your floral image there on the front. So, those are some ideas. And then inside, I have this other die. Um, this pocket die. And it's fantastic because it has all these slots in it. And you can just, you know stick all you know your different things in here so say you want to just use utilize this little card and then maybe I want to use this this die in here and then maybe you want to just like you know attach your little note here or whatever utilizing something else or you know maybe like one of the little like journaling type cards or maybe like a bigger one um and then you know you can stick some little items in there you know and then just send that out and how super cute is that 
Um, so the dies, if you don't have these dies, it's okay. You don't, you don't need them. I created this little pocket here. So I printed out, you know, these in their full size shape. And then I took, um, just some of the paper and I just folded it. So I just did a little fold like this and cut that out. And then this is all my little pieces. And I did one, two, three, four, and five. And so now I have, let me get some of this stuff out of the way. You know, when you're filming, it's always like the small desk. Um, but now there's a pocket here and here and then here and here and here. And like, how cute is that? That's just so cute. So you can see here that I lengthened this a little bit. So when I go to attach it, I'm just going to make sure that I just glue right at the edge here so that if I slip something in here, that it has a little bit of room in there to like grab down, you know, there. But look how, I mean, look how super cute that is. And I just stitched it, but you could glue it in place. And it just turned out so super cute. And I just used scraps left over from, you know, all the different images that I've used. And I just think it's absolutely adorable. And then look how cute it is in there. Is that not adorable? Oh my gosh, I love it. And then like you could like make the stamps a little bit bigger and, and, and put those in there or, you know, create some washi you know, and put it in there. And I would probably, you know, cut those down. But I mean, they're just some different ideas, basically. So on to the pocket. If you don't have the pocket die. So that is this one that I'm talking about to make the little um, pocket here. But you don't need it. So basically, you can take a scrap piece of paper. And then you just decide what you want your front image to look like. Um, so I'm not going to be that picky because this is just, you know, um, an example. Um, but basically I'm just going to make it about like this wide and I'm going to clear some stuff out so you can actually see me work. Um, and then you need to decide like where you want your seam. A lot of times I'll put my seam on the side cause you know, I don't know. It just doesn't, it doesn't bother me, but if you need it perfectly lined up in the middle, then you would need to, you know, cut a little bit more of your paper in order to do that. But that doesn't bother me to put it on the side. So I'm just gonna cut a little bit outside of it. Maybe about a half inch. And then I'm just gonna fold that in. Okay. Are you with me still? <laughs> okay, so that's how it's gonna be, is just like this, lined up. So then I need to make the top and the bottom, right? So I'm just gonna cut a little corner here, and I'm eyeballing it. And I'm gonna cut a little corner here and I'm gonna try to get that somewhat straight okay so what I need to do is is this side is this this part is gonna fold up on this bag so I need to get rid of this excess on the back side because this is my back side so I'm just gonna eyeball it again from end to end and cut okay and then I'm gonna do it on the little flap that I made and cut okay so basically, I've got my end there, I've got my end there, and then I'm gonna fold this up. And I can already tell that I made it a little bit crooked. So I'm gonna fix that. Easy remedy. Okay, let's see if that works now. bit of a piece there we go okay so I'll end up gluing that in a second so now I want to do the top so I want the I want the front to have like a little bit of a, a, a cutout you know um, so what I'm gonna do is and I'm gonna kind of do like a little bit of a rounded one so I'm just gonna kind of go and again I'm just kind of like eyeballing it You could get all fancy, use fancy scissors. You could even like kind of technically kind of like fold it like that without pressing down too hard and you know, do it again that way. So that looks pretty good. And then I'm gonna open it again because I want, I need this to come down a little bit. So you're gonna see a little bit of the back image. It'll all make sense in a second. Okay, did I do it 
crooked, a little bit crooked. It's okay, you know? Okay. So it's gonna glue like that, it's gonna glue like that, and then that's my front. Like, look how cute that is. And so you just put a little adhesive, whether you use a little bit of double-sided um, um, the tape or whether you glue it down, and then you have like your little bag. So that's a quick solution. And I mean, you can make your bag, you know, whatever size you want. Um, or, you know, if you have one of the like coin envelopes, you could actually like take it apart and then just trace that. And then that could be, you know, what you want to do. But again, I mean, you could use like decorative scissors, um, you know, like these, you know, to kind of give it the little, um, you know, the zigzaggy type points um, to create it. But I just... I just think, you know, a lot of stuff, you know, you can just make it yourself if you don't happen to have, like, the supplies. Um, I was kind of, like, working on um, this one a little bit because I just love this image here. I just think that is so pretty. And this is that image that I used, you know, to create um, the pockets here for that third, this, like, little flip out, the little third section. And I used it. And then it's got that, you know, the music on the other, on the other side, because what I did was I printed it and then I just, and I printed it only on one, um, piece of, um, printer paper and I just cut it and then I just adhered this to this side, you know, for the image, um, so that I didn't really waste a paper, you know, but you could just print it on the other side, but this made it a little bit thicker, um, because I don't, I don't think I used cardstock here. Yeah, I think I just, this is just two pieces of copy paper together um, that's created that, you know, that durability, basically. Um, but yeah, I thought this was really pretty. And then I love this image here. Um, so I was kind of like toying with this idea. And I had printed on vellum a little bit here and then like this floral image back here for maybe like a pocket or something. So I don't know, I'm kind of toying around with that. But I do love working in this size but I do think that these are just as sweet and adorable as well. And just a great way to just send something off, you know, super easy and super quick. Um, I just think it's so cute. Um, and it would just be so, so cute with her on the front. I just think that's adorable. So super duper, really simple, you know, ideas for creating these. Um, this kit is absolutely stunning. You should definitely, you know, check it out. Um, but so many of her other digitals are this way too, where the collage sheet, you know, you could, you could easily make, um, this happy mail and it would be so much fun, um, to see, you know, what you create. So you can always tag me on Instagram. I'd love to see it. Um, but anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, I hope you, uh, will make some and, um, I hope you have a great day. Thanks everybody. Bye-bye.